Hello, Fight fans, and welcome to another exciting edition of The Counterpunch. Last week, we kicked off our first ever episode of The Counterpunch with a homecoming at Bellator 186 for fighters Phil Davis and Ed Ruth. In today's episode, we'll stay at Bellator 186, where history was made for the Bellator promotion and for the state of Hawaii. Throughout time, there will be plenty of champions, but there's only a select few that can say they were the first to ever win a championship. And that was an opportunity that Bellator was presenting in the co-main event at Bellator 186. Tonight, Bellator will do something that they've never done before, and that is crowning a women's flyweight champion. The co-main event featured undefeated Alima Leigh McFarlane picking on Emily Ducote. This was the second meeting between the two, and just like the first meeting, McFarlane would get the win, except this time not only did she win, but she got a finish with a fifth round submission with an armbar, and this time she got to become the inaugural women's flyweight champion, giving her some good extra weight to carry around. It's heavy. <laughs> I'm like trying not to drop it. <laughs> yeah, but it's awesome. It's a good heavy. First time something's heavy on my shoulders and it feels good. Not only is McFarlane the first ever Bellator flyweight champion, but she's now in a special category among Hawaiian fighters. Leading up to this fight, I didn't really, of course, of course I consider myself one of the fighters from Hawaii and everything, but leading up to the fight, when um, I started doing interviews with other reporters, they, were, they said, they're like, you know, if you win this belt, you're going to be one of four champions from the islands in a major promotion. I'm like, what? For some reason, I thought there was way more than that. But they said BJ Penn, Max Holloway, Angela Lee with one, um, one FC, and then me if I win the belt. So that in itself kind of made me like, oh my goodness, this is kind of a big deal now, you know? Um, so yeah, it's so much honor though. You know, I love my Hawaii, I'm always repping them. You know, even though I live in the mainland, I'm still a local girl, 100%. It was an emotional night for McFarlane as her family was there to see her win the belt. But it was also a painful night for the champ as the Cody came out with a game plan to take out the lead leg of McFarlane and she succeeded. Their game plan was good, just try to take out my front leg and you know, if you guys see it, it's all torn up, so good job on, on her end for doing that. Um, but yeah, it was not an easy fight by any means, like Emily's tough. And it was close because she was working that front leg with that shin kick and it, those weren't, some of them were kicking with the top of the foot, but some of them she was kicking with the shin and right on the on the top of the of thigh bone and so those, those are the ones that take it out of you and and, and I think you can tell you can see the difference in Alima's fighting style you know in that second round she started taking a lot of shots to the leg and I think it affected her her ability to get in and, and try to take, take her down. Nonetheless the Eliminator got the win and she proved to everyone that she is a five round fighter. Not only did I take it all five rounds um, you know, it was 30 seconds left in the round, but I got the finish too. So people should be scared that, you know, I can, I can go all five rounds and I can finish you. Now that McFarlane is the champ, she'll have champion responsibilities. And the biggest responsibility will be defending her belt. Bellator CEO Scott Coker said that McFarlane will fight twice a year. And McFarlane is on board with that because she likes to hang out and enjoy life outside of the cage. Longevity, I think, too, is being smart. You know, honest, like people are asking me, like, oh, are you going to fight on the L.A. card at the forum? And I'm like, no way. I'm going to relish in this for as long as I can. I'm going to, you know, hang out as the champion. I don't have any, I don't, I don't have any need to fight immediately, you know, and defend the belt. Like, I'm good. I, I can fight, you know, in six months. You know, a lot of fighters are always like, oh, I want to fight as many times as I can, which is great. But for me, I'm good. I don't know if you guys, like, know my, my style, but I go and travel after each fight. I go and party or whatever. I just, I just relax. I soak it in. And then when it's time to get back to work, I, I get back to work. Ali Malay McFarlane will always be the first ever Bellator flyweight champion. And who knows, maybe somewhere down the line, she'll add a karaoke championship to her name. You were working as a waitress in a cocktail bar when I met you. Yeah, that's my, that's my go-to song. But I've been feeling the Alanis Morissette lately, uh, so I don't know, maybe I'll surprise people. <laughs> I'll give Alima Leigh McFarland some credit. I'm embarrassed to sing in my car on my way to work every day, never mind at a press conference. But hey, Alima Leigh, if you're ever in NEPA and you're looking for some competition at a karaoke bar, well, I think I could find a challenger for you, so you just let me know. But for now, congratulations on making history. That's it for this episode of The Counterpunch. Thank you all so much for watching, and stay tuned for more episodes of The Counterpunch right here on SSP TV Sports.